sorry for interruption i am happy to inform that our gurudath and gopinath are our members so take their benefits and be a cmas in future thank you sir thank you very much sir cma r pushottaman sir for inspiring our crowd and uh, uh, giving them uh, hint of uh, making cmas uh, i always welcome our uh, members who are here to our cma family uh, so moving forward to the second technical session uh, we have our distinguished uh, speaker C, uh, mr mg kodaranam kodandaram sir who is a forum, former irs and legal consultant and he'll be deliberating on the topic technological intervention in cyber security but before to that uh, let me introduce you our uh, speaker mr mg kodandaram sir he is irs assistant director retired and he's a master trainer of gst for cbic government of india and faculty national academy of customs indirect taxes and narcotics member state uh, gst committee federation of uh, karnataka chamber of commerce industry fkcci and he has been advisor and resource person at karnataka state bar council for science and technology kscst uh, government of karnataka and self for ipr promotion and management Vishweshwara Trade Promotion Center (VTPC) Government of Karnataka, and he is also a member expert group on GST of Fiscal Policy Institute Government of Karnataka, and he has been the founder member, Foundation of Data Protection Professionals in India (FDPPI), and he has been keeping a long list of qualifications: <laughs> B.Sc., LLB, PG Diploma in National Science, Social Services, Business Administration, Josephs, IPR Law, NLS, UI. then cyber law and cyber forensics he has to his credit a professional experience in public service as an executive in central board of indirect taxes cbic since 1981 served in all important formation has served as air intelligence officer at sahara international airport a regular in house faculty at nacin from over 20 years a master trainer for cbic government of india on Uh, gst and guest source person and faculty in over 60 training institutes he has trained thousands of officers in on taxation and related laws for customs goods and service tax excise service tax and over 100 articles by him have been published by various journals and magazines he has handled over 2300 sessions on the about topics to the various state bodies government authorities and tax practitioners known for his pleasing personality and helping nature Kodanda Ram is a vivid re reader of Indian scripture too. Very honored to meet you, sir. Good afternoon, everybody. Very happy to be in this premises. Before COVID, I had addressed nearly two groups for IPR as well as GST. This is another event which I am talking about cyber. When we speak of cyber, security becomes a very important aspect. First of all, we should know what is cyber. what is not cyber some gentleman asked me today from morning even before i get up i get up with the alarm of my cyber alarm starting from there i start looking into facebook start looking into whatsapp messages till the end till i sleep even while on bed i will be on the facebook today the time is right for us to intoxicate ourselves away from this dirty digital usage it's not only the social networking which we have done you look into any governance mechanisms it's all driven by electronic governance let it be just now we heard gst customs catching up with you as well as income tax uh, but also the administrative measures like giving your uh, bank accounts even your education now each teachers movement is monitored each student's profiles are monitored even arrival departure everything to through cctv it is being monitored then what is not a cyber driven aspect everything is cyber driven nothing is left now it has changed we think of changes that happened in the history when we invented the printing machine there was a huge change Hundred times of that change has been coming now. So industrialization 3.0 then, now industrialization 4.0, where there is hardly any intervention by the physical element. It's only virtual element. Industry 4.0, where machine plans itself, executes and gives the output. And what is the use of human beings there? 
That's a big question mark for you to be awaited. Coming back, this tech, the technological intervention in cybersecurity, why can't we secure anything through a law? First question, whether law cannot protect your property? When the law can protect your property, but why not your data, data information, computers? They have failed to protect. Law has failed to protect the cyber media or cyber related products or cyber devices because it has its limitations. Today we are not at all citizens. We are all netizens. Is it clear? Netizens. Now, we have no respect for boundaries. Political boundaries have no say. If an offense to be committed in Bengaluru, the victim is in Bengaluru, the data may be in the cloud in some other country, and the perpetrator of crime may be in another country, and if that country doesn't cooperate, where is the question of criminal justice coming into system? We have plenty of murderers, financial, we uh, can call it them, what is that, fraudsters, staying abroad, and states are not respecting the law of the land, and now whether they will land, uh, respect that for a cyber offense? That's a bigger question today we need to think of. And therefore, what cannot be cured through law, what cannot be cured through Another aspect, I will keep it as a secret. I'll tell you later. Now, technology alone can come for as an intervention. How this cyber technology can be secured with cyber technology? Why we should apply technology to get cure from the technology? Is it not possible to manually do it? That's the first question we need to ask. Is it possible to manually do it? Just now, our Kaushik said, out of so many crores of assassins, it has picked up somebody who is a violative. Is it possible to humanly see so many crores of entries and to compare with the income tax forms with the GST forms? It is impossible. But the machine can do it in just a fraction of a minute. That's the advantage of using the equipment. What human beings take for years will be done in minutes. Earlier, I was doing audit. For doing an audit of Michael Bosch, I remember, we took two months to verify the then modvet with other things, whether revenue is correct, whether income tax aspects are correct, everything we made and finally submission. But that same work after the cap audit, computer-aided audit program, we did it in three days, you believe. Two months work, we did it in three days with a better output, where there was no deviation possible, and we are able to find out everything. And therefore, technology is the only remedy to overcome the security. So how, what is this security is all about? I don't go to fundamentals. There is hardly any time to talk to you, say what is cyber security and all that. I'll try to give you a brief outline. And what are the threats, crimes? That itself is one day topic for me. Cyber crimes. In that itself, uh, we can go. Then how cyber crimes can be brought before a court of law. That is cyber forensics. So cyber law, cyber commerce, e-commerce aspects, cyber litigation, cyber crimes, cyber forensics. Now, cyber security is another aspect. So each one is a huge stream. And this cyber security, another aspect is, every day thousands of new devices are coming. And they have to be secured differently. There, that's the challenge we are today left with. Whatever method you create to secure a device, or a transmission, or a data, the next moment, it will be a total change. There, we have to be very, very cautious. So there, it has to be even more dynamic than the invention that is going on, innovation is going on. But kindly remember, we are only catching up. Security is only catching up with the innovation. Innovation has already taken place. Now we are trying to catch up with it. And if we delay in this, it will not be a secure place for working. So 
I will be speaking on a bit on cyber security. What challenges in protection of data is there? Data protection is a big issue. Sir, what is the data, sir? There is also called privacy data, non-privacy data, commercial data, different types of data, needs different protections. Otherwise, the company will be sued and it will be lost. The entire profit will be eroded in no time. Then how do you classify and how do you secure the data? Not only the machines, but the data. And data during transmission. Not data at store or receiving end. Data is received here. It is to be transmitted to another man. And there again it has to be regrouped. How you, somebody in between, catches up with it? How do you manage it? So the entire network has to be secured. How we are going to plan? Only certain general aspects I will be able to give. Technological aspects. If it is an engineering student, I would have sat with you and uh, discussed that. But we will try to know the narratives and new future opening up possible for you. We will try to look in. Then ethics. This is what I told you. The curative system that is for all in the waiting. What is this ethics? When I looked into the books on computers 15 years ago, 20 years ago, they were talking about technology and said nothing can defeat cyber technology. And crimes can be stopped by technological intervention. Then law also can take up and cyber forensics can knit a very good evidence so that in a court of law it can be placed and we can get the version, uh, decisions. But it is not so. Because if there is no ethical standard for the human being, he can outwit that machine in no time. That is the challenge. Today, when I read some few articles recently in that cyber magazine, he says, cyber ethics is the only way out. Only a sensible human being is the remedy possible. It is not the technology again. So human should resolve his problems, redress his problems by ethical way. Let it be any problem on this earth. With that, let me go to the next slide. So what is this cyber security, to put it in simple words? It's critical system and sensitive information. So it's both on the systems, the hardware machines, and also the information, that is the data that is contained. Sir, you are using data. Sir, you are not saying video. You are not saying audio. Is that not a data? Everything is a data for us. Only in the front end, I see it as a movie, or a video, or an audio. But in the back end, it's all bytes and bits, which is biting us, isn't it? All formats are the same. It's only bits of information in the, what is that, uh, system is available. The system we cannot understand. What we're seeing is the readable format only. In the digital form, nobody can make out what it is. So that is the challenge we have. We are taking this user-friendly method to give inputs, and we are, afterwards, it's lost for us. It's only bytes and bits, whether it is video, audio, whatever type. Then how do you segregate? Privacy data, data relating to very sensitive information, financial information. Everything look alike. It is like cells. It is said cell of a human being, of a plant, of an animal, or a material thing is the same at the minutest level. That's true also about the digital technology. We have only binary digits riding on us. So there, digital attacks come. I'm using some simple word. Digital attack, where may they make me get away. Let it be any type of crime. Starting from a small issue like bullying, or hacking, or uh, what is that? Uh, uh, cyber terror. Or now, it is cyber warfare. All this, starting from here to there, or ransomware, I forgot to mention you. That's the highest uh, crime that is happening today in the corporate world. There is hardly anybody who has not faced it in the cyber world. So that's a challenging thing today you have. It's also called information technology, cyber security measures, then application technologies. So where exactly which area I need to see is the applications, controls, processes. Very difficult is these processes. How do I manage securely? whether these threats originate from inside or outside. We think from outside people will hack, 
but from inside only there are people who will easily access and they start hacking. So this insider's game is very difficult to eliminate. That's why I said ethical aspects are very, very important to combat the growing threat of cyber attacks. Next. Next slide. Ah. Process application, multiple devices is another challenge. Plenty of types of devices. If you have Look up to your mobile phones. Each one have a different application, different devices. Everything is different, except you are getting common inputs. Other than that, everything is different. And moreover, during COVID time, we have told you, bring your own device. That created a very tough time for the corporate to do the security measures. It took really a tough task for them, because we don't know at the user, what type of machineries or equipments they are using. So we had to resort to the comprehensive system to secure each aspect of their operations, which was very, very tough. Here are some data I have given. Kindly, you can skip it. This you can read later. Then biggest cyber security threats. I will try to read them. That's all. Malware, ransomware, I told you. The 151% increase in the ransomware attacks, then you can imagine. Social engineering, disturbed denial of services, man in the middle attacks, this has also become very frequent. Advanced persistent threats, intruders gain access to the target system but stay undetected for an extended period. They are the